campsite. No secret spot here. The good thing about Tasman Bay this time of year is you can park up anywhere, barely up, and the snapper will come to you. They are that hungry. So that's what I'm going to do today. Park up, deploy that barely and get that barely trail pumping and cast some nice big kahawai baits into it. The kahawai that I caught in my last video. If you haven't seen that, go and check that one out. But today we are targeting the Tasman Bay snapper and they are well and truly here. There's been some good catches. I'm pretty slack on it because I've been busy on the bus. So this is really my first first crack at a Tasman Bay snapper. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to deploy this burly and then I'm going to start fishing. Then I can talk to you guys, but I want to get straight into it because I'm pretty excited. I want to catch a monster. Nice big fat aquafresh burly. So as I said earlier, I've got my nice fat kahawai from the last mission. Nice fat big bait knife and rip some strips off this. It's still a bit frozen. Got it out last night, but it was quite a cold night. Definitely felt it in the shorts this morning. All right, first we're just gonna deploy some um, ledger rigs directly underneath the boat. Pretty much the same technique I used last time is little strips of kawai, big burly trail on the anchor. Couple of baits directly underneath the boat, right in the burly trail. And then a couple of baits casted out the back in the tide. And the theory is that there's two here covering the first bit of the burly trail if the fish are in real close. And if they're a bit weary, then they're gonna be out the back feeding in the burly trail and I'm gonna pick them up out there, so. Quite a bit of tide this morning, which is good. So you can use single or double hook rigs. I already had singles on the rod, so I'm just going singles. The direction of the tide, I'll cast behind them. Before I turn the camera off, check the sunrise out. Absolutely beautiful. Pink skies. What do they say in the pink sky in the morning? No, it's not really a pink. Yeah, it kind of is. Pink sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, sailor's warning. Something like that. There is a big front coming in tomorrow, so that's why I'm out here and uh, hopefully getting some fish. But I'll turn you back on when we do. Oh, yeah, we're on already. What have we got? Hopefully, not too many more of these. They're bastards. Wouldn't be a day out in Tasman Bay without a spiky dog. So, for those who haven't seen already, we recently just bought a bus, and I've been and I've been kitting it out. If you want to see more of that, I probably won't upload into this channel. But what I've done is started a separate channel, which I'll put the link here, and. If you want to see those updates just jump onto that channel and i'll uplo upload those updates on the bus frequently there so i'm not spamming out this channel with something that's not really relative to my content um, so for those of you who are interested go and jump over hit the subscribe button hopefully i can pinch a few followers from this and um, i'll be more than happy to share the journey with you guys what it means for this channel is nothing um, i'll keep keep putting out the same content i've been putting out nothing's going to change I know there's a few upset people like, what the hell, this ain't fishing or diving or hunting. So, um, you know, I'll keep it true and I'll stay to what I'm doing and keep this channel one subject. Um, but yeah, if you want to go and follow the journey, show some support, head over there, hit the subscribe button and I'll upload there frequently in between. Here we go. There we go, there's a snapper. Yeah, snapper. snapper or a big shark. Could be a big shark. Oh, bloody nice gated. Happy to chuck that one in the bin. Yeah, here we go. We've got a snapper on. Oh, 
That's a good fish, man. That's a good fish. I'm gonna be in the lay rod. That's a snapper. Oh, it's rubbing underneath the boat. He's going with the tide, I can't stop him. It's only a light gear too, I'm using real light gear. time with it. This is a good fish. I'm struggling. I can't get any line back. Really putting this rod through its paces. It's not liking it. I think it's a trap rod. I found it when I was diving on the bottom bank. I don't know, it could be a big shark actually. It feels real heavy, eh? Hey? No colour yet. Big snapper. That's a big snapper. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, I don't want to lose this fish, so I'm going to. I'm going to hoit it in somehow by myself to get this thing in. Come over the back maybe. Oh, I'm shaking. I was pretty gutted I lost that fish. I've kind of come to terms with it. Um, it was probably a bit big. Um, not the perfect size for eating just because it's a big breeder and they haven't spawned yet. Um, they're just feeding up ready to spawn so good time of year to be letting those ones go. Um, second plus is that because I'm using such light gear it comes up so slowly that it didn't puff up. Um, and it just, as soon as it got off the hook, it swam straight back down. So it was, um, it was good, healthy fish to release, and he'll probably he'll suffer for a few days. Um, hopefully, he doesn't get eaten by sharks, because the signs out there that you know a couple of days the snapper will just sit on the bottom and they don't do too well after being released, which is why I don't usually do it, especially at this depth. But because he was so healthy and because he swam away so nicely, he wasn't puffed up. I'm happy with that. So. Um, done a good deed for the day he'll go on make some new babies and we'll be able to catch them in seven years time right we're into it now hopefully the sharks are buggered off and we're into the snapper here we go we're in on the snapper we've got another snapper here for sure yeah that's a snapper another good fish i'm just gonna move the camera for you guys so you can see it Drag's a bit buggered on this reel, so you can't hear it. 
but it was pulling line, and it is pulling line now. Um, it doesn't feel quite as big as the last one. Maybe it is. <laughs> Man, you just can't stop them, eh? back in business and I just found a gaff on board so I'm not losing another one. If it's a keeper, it's getting gaffed. We might have just hooked up on another, on the other rod actually. But this is going to take a bit off because I'm hauling them slowly, like gear, and I don't want to lose it. Plus we're in like 25, 30 metres. We're in boys, we're in. Snapper time. Been a while since we've eaten a nice big fresh snapper. And this time of year, they are in amazing eating condition because they've put on all the condition over winter, ready for spawn. And that's what they're here to do. So you've got to keep that in mind when you're out here catching these things. They're here to do one thing, and that is to reproduce. We have to, I know we like catching them, but we're also going to be mindful we're going to let them do their thing because we want to preserve this fishery. Um, we want to look after it, and we've got a duty as fishermen, as recreational fishermen and commercial fishermen um, to look after it and do our thing because I really want my kids to be able to bring their kids out here and do the same thing as what I'm doing now because this is so bloody fun. <laughs> Plus, is the best way to get protein. You're not relying on supermarkets. You're out here having fun, getting some fresh air, enjoying the environment, and there's just nothing better. All right, we've got color, and it's a snapper, so that's good. And he's going to get a gaff in him because I'm not losing another one. Bit smaller than the last one, which is again good. This one has puffed up actually. So he's definitely coming home. Even if he got off, he'd probably just float around behind the boat. But he is coming home. Get a nice gaff in there. And he's in. Beauty. <laughs> Yes, look at that fish, man. <sighs> Beautiful eating condition. I'm absolutely stoked with that. I'm going to get this one ickied, get it on ice straight away, get the guts out. Check for row. If there's row, we'll keep that. We'll smoke it up because the kids want some fish sausages. And uh, we'll try to catch another couple of fish, stock out the freezer. How good is that? <laughs> look how fat it is. Oh. Absolutely steak. There's a good eating size fish that one. Nice decent fat fillets on it. And not too big. Beauty. Alright, run again. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. Hooked another good snapper guys. It's always the smallest rod, isn't it? Always the smallest rod. This is Max Drag on this little Okuma Aria. And she doesn't like it, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, perfect morning, man. This feels like a good fish, man. It hasn't done a big run, but it's heavy ass. Just can't turn it. I feel like I'm lifting it up sideways. Jeez, it's heavy. 
tend to find that this depth, once you get about halfway up, holy, once you get about halfway up, they usually start slowing down. Holy moly. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Right, that one's a keeper. There's my gaff. Not losing another one. Oh, beauty. Here we have it, guys. A nice, fat, beautiful Tasman Bay snapper. It does not get much better than that. Beautiful fish. Absolutely stoked. This is a donkey. We just hooked up to a donkey. Whoa. Hey, I don't even know what that is. That might be a big shark. I think that's a big shark. I can't even turn that. Back in business. Man, I'm just getting spooled. I think that's a big snapper. That's got to be a big snapper. If this is a snapper, this is a 25 pounder. I'm calling it now. Because I just cannot turn it. It's just done a massive run, probably 100 meters over that way. GoPro died, so I had to quickly swap the battery and turn it back on. There you go, I've managed to turn it now. Let's come back to the boat. If this is a snapper man, this is a donkey. I've probably said that about five times already, but the adrenaline's pumping, I'm shaking. And I just don't know what it is. That's a snapper man. I just don't know what it is. I hope it's not a shark. Really am pushing this shit up to its limits. Not really the right gear to be doing this with, but it is so fun. Looking big snapper on light gear. I just love it. And to be honest, if you're gonna, for those of you who release fish, this is the way to do it, because they come up so slowly, they've got time to vent and they don't swell up. It's got to be a shark. I'm calling a shark. I'll turn you on again soon because it's going to take a while. Yeah, here we go. It's a big shark. Big old school shark. I'm not going to be able to get my hook back out of this. These guys are feisty, man. There's a big old shark, man. That was a mission, man. Had to just cut the trace in the end. I just couldn't get him. Could have get him free. I need a drink. I really needed another pair of hands to deal with him properly. Which is a real shame. I'm pretty gutted that I had to cut the hook. 
but I just couldn't get him into the boat. Well, I didn't want to get him into the boat. And I couldn't hold him to get the hook out. Had too much going in him still. The hook will rust out eventually, so um, he will survive, but it's just a shame that you've got to affect such a big, beautiful animal in such a way. That's why I prefer spear fishing, because you don't shoot sharks. It is peak high tide now, so it's just gone slack. So I'd expect the fishing to slow down and probably the snapper to go off the bite. So I'm just going to have a coffee and a break and a breather after dealing with that big old shark. And then, depending on how I feel, I might punch up the coast, cook up a feed and get in the water. Beautiful mug this, flask, whatever you call it. Bloody expensive, but it keeps your drink hot. It's a nice boat, that. I like it. All right, so I've had my coffee and all of a sudden there's like bloody 15 boats around me. And I don't like that, so that's made up my mind for me. I'm going to go up the coast. I'll find a spot to cook up a feed, have some lunch, and I'm going to get in the water and dive that out going tired. I usually find that's the clearest. Plus, it's not big tides at the moment, so it shouldn't be too stirred up. And as I said before, this is the cleanest the water's been this season so far. So it'd be rude not to get in the water because it's going to turn to shit tomorrow. So these guys have made my mind up for me. I'm out of here. Bit of a shag on a rock. Love a good shag on a rock, I do. All right, we're here and the viz looks pretty good. Surprisingly for this time of year, this is never this clear this time of year. So I'm definitely getting in the water. I'm getting a bit excited now, so I'm gonna have to calm down. I did just have a big coffee, big strong one. Not ideal, but I'll try and calm down. I'm gonna go deploy this burly. I'm gonna see if I can get a snapper on the spear. If not, I'll have a look around for an early season kingfish. And all around, I'm just gonna try and add some variety to the bin. I've already got two big snapper, caught three, kept two, and one gunard for lunch. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and add some variety, have a dive, see what I can see, and just enjoy some nice clear water for once, because it's been a while. So yeah, I'll see you in the drink.
right, let's go check on that burley. See if there's anything on it, give it a good rock up and make a call on what to do then. Well, I gave it a good crack. Unfortunately, I just didn't have enough burley to hold the fish there long enough. They munched through it pretty quick. I saw one real big snapper, man. Like, I didn't see the full fish because of the color. I just didn't see it in there until I saw it turn and saw the back of the tail, the white tail. And the tail was almost twice the depth of a small panty. So it tells me it was a big fish. I thought it was a shark at first, the way it turned, big shadow. So unfortunate, um, but it's not easy down here, man. It's, it is not easy to get a good snapper on the spear. They're just so weary and there's no kelp cover. They very rarely come into the shallows on the start of the season, end of the season, just to feed up. Um, and then they move off deeper to spawn. So it's just, it's just a challenge. I love it. It's real fun. And I've got a plan for next time. So I'll give it another crack before it's over. What I'm gonna do now is cook up a feed because I'm pretty hungry. And if I can find some kahawai and catch some, then maybe I'll come back and give it another crack with some more barley. Just gonna fill it up that gurnard, have that for lunch. Oh yeah, I got a crayfish. Came back from the old uh, snappers and just saw this guy crawling along the rock. So that's a bit of a score. I won't have him for lunch, he's still alive. And this crate, this dude will probably do me perfectly. Quickly whip the fillets off this. Not sure what I'll do this afternoon. See what I feel like after I've got some food inside me because I'm pretty bloody hungry. Early start this morning and I haven't eaten yet. Oh, I could have used that as some barely. Maybe I'll keep that in case I go back in the water. Get our whole grain bread crumbs. Friend of a friend sent me this stuff. He's just put it on the market and it's a, what is it? It's a smoked, Manuka smoked salt, vegan friendly, dairy free, made in Marlborough. And it's got no nasty stuff in it. So there's no MSG, there's no preservatives, no artificial flavorings. It's just, you know, standard, normal ingredients. It does have bread crumbs in it, but I've got bread crumbs in here, so I don't care. So, but it's not uh, gluten free for any of you uh, gluten free people out there. But uh, this stuff is awesome. So what I'm going to do is, it's not actually designed for fish, it's more of a meat rub, more of a meat seasoning, nice and smoky. But what I'm going to do is, oh, that smells good. What I'm going to do is mix it with my breadcrumbs. It's got a lot of high salt content. And then I'm going to drop my fish into this to crumb it up. And I've just locked my fish fillets in the bin underneath everything. So this is a bit of a disaster. All right. In it goes. Crumb these bad boys up. We'll just give that a good shake up. Give them a good coating. That looks absolutely amazing. I'm getting so hungry just looking at this. Heaps of oil and a salad, so I'm just going to heat up this oil and then I'll chuck these in and deep fry them some deep fried, salty, smoky goodness and then we're going to make a burger I've got some sushi ginger and some wasabi I thought I had mayo but I didn't, I must have left it at home but um, we can live without mayo for one day just oh what a day, beautiful morning bit gutted I missed that snapper on the spear um, 
but I know they're there now. I can come back and I can give it another go. It's a shame that the weather's about to turn and the visitors will drop off because it was just so nice swimming around in clear water today. But it'll come. My time will come again. Hopefully before sort of mid-December when the snapper move off a bit deeper. Uh, this time of year they can be quite shallow because we're all just looking for food. So um, I can use that to my advantage. So hopefully I get another crack at it before the end of this um, this year. I'm getting impatient. I reckon it's hot enough to go. Yes, it is. Oh man, I'm so hungry. It's been a lot of hard work actually. It's been a long day. Early start, um, fighting a few big fish. Caught that big shark and then um, working hard, working really hard, too hard actually, to get one of them snappers. It's not for everyone, it's a lot of work, takes a lot of commitment to um, get onto these big fish on the spear down here. So it's not for everyone, um, but I absolutely love the challenge. You know, it's, it's one thing catching a big snapper on a rod, but when you can see them in the water and you can choose one and shoot one, it's just a whole another level. And it, it is a real achievement down here. Up north, people shoot them all, all the time, and I used to as well um, when I lived up there. And it just becomes the norm, it's just another species. Um, but down here, man, like, very little people have shot a, a snapper over 15 pounds in the South Island. And if you're gonna do it, Nelson is probably the place to be um, during that snapper season. Maybe the west coast if it gets clear enough, but it's only ever really clear enough once a year. So uh, Nelson's probably the place to give it a crack. And um, so far, I've done pretty well. I usually get one good fish a year. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, have a sift through. I got a good probably 15 pound one, maybe 10 pound one last year. And then the year before that, I got a 20 something pound one and I had that one aged, a scientist aged that fish and it was 34 years old. So if you haven't seen that video, go and have a sift through and have a look for it. It's definitely worth a watch. Um, and as I say, you usually get one like that a year. So this year is going to be another good year. Today could have been my chance if I had a bit more burly, but um, just a bit underprepared for the spear fishing today. Um, it was more of a fishing mission this morning just because I wanted to get some snapper back in the freezer. But now that pressure's off me to provide, it's sort of given me a bit of relief to spend my time doing something that's a bit more challenging. So stay tuned for some more snapper footage. I'm gonna call that done. Got a leftover salad from home last night. What else we got? ginger and some wasabi this is going to be a spicy brew this one probably should get out of my wetsuit actually but it's nice and warm trust the old moray wetsuits man they just brought out a new one uh, moray 45 it's made out of yamamoto 45 neoprene super high-tech stuff um, flexible panels and a couple of trade secrets which they're not really putting out there because Pretty fierce competition in the wetsuit industry in New Zealand and if they put out all their circuits then quite often other companies might copy so there's a few stuff that they're keeping to themselves for now, it'll probably come out eventually but um, super good suits, I'd love one myself but uh, I've still got two of the old uh, Moray Revolutions, I've got a 7mm and a 5mm so I can't really justify buying another suit just yet, maybe sometime in the very near, near future. I'll get one of those new more A45s because bloody awesome suits. High vis on the back and back of the legs so your buddy can see you when you're down below. On the back of your head so the boats can see you when you're in the water. But all the front is camo and um, the trusty reliability, hard wearing suits. So if you're in for a new wetsuit, go and check them out. Um, well worth their money. And you're supporting a New Zealand business which is always a plus as well. My favourite things about bread, I know it's not good for you, but bread plates. Who needs plates when you got bread? No clean up, no dishes. Quickly toast up these. And then we're in. We're into it. Let's uh, get some ginger out. Chuck in the salad. That's probably enough. Oh, I love that smell of burning bread. 
crispy. I'm so hungry. Kind of thinking I should have filled one of those big snappers and ate one of those bastards. This little gearhead might not do me. I think that's number one. Chuck number two in. All right, let's give this a go. Oh, man, that looks so good. All right, let's go. What am I gonna do? No, I need to get some wasabi first. Get some wasabi. Get a bit of that on the old knife and go for gold. Chuck some fush in there. Leave some room for some salad and ginger. Excuse my fingers. Oh, I'm burning the bread. Nah, she's good. Bit more fish, more salad and ginger. Load that bad boy up. Aim more in. All right, turn that off. That's it, guys. Nice gearded pitta with uh, pickled ginger and wasabi. And of course, some contraband seasoning. Good stuff, this. If you can find it yet, get some. It's good. I've actually got a few extra ones of these. So I might run a little giveaway yet. So keep your eyes peeled. And some of you lucky followers might get your hands on some of this as well. Oh my God. Mm. That is so good. All right guys, I'm gonna finish my lunch. And I'll punch back to the beach, pull the boat out, get home some fish filleting. So that's probably it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, we're back out here chasing these snappers. If not, I'll be doing something with the kids or I'll be in the bush hunting some deer. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, remember, drop a like, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and we will see you in the next video. Oh. Oh, wasabi. Whoop! Oh.